Hello guys, so today um, I want to um, do a video of my favourite um, Channel 5 shows from this year. Yeah, I know it's um, October at the moment, but I wanted to do this early, so yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll do that today. So I've got um, got a few dramas, and I've got one um, one of them which is not drama, and pardon... Um, Karen and Perry go large and Dal and Helen's Penny Venture and Puzzle because because they're not from this year. And actually, I love Karen and Perry go large because it's actually my favourite film, so yeah. So anyway, let's get started. So first one is Nightcrawler. Now, um, now I watched this back in July. Um... This this is definitely my favourite from this year. Um, I do like this show. Um, it's just about um, a lonely cab driver's growing obsession with a radio DJ. So I think the DJ is Lawrence. I think that's the name of this character. And I think there's Tony on there. And fun fact, one of the actors was in um, Grace. Um, when I watched um, Grace, um, yeah, one of the Nightcrawler actors were in it. So yeah. But so yeah, Nightcrawler is actually a good show, but I will watch it again at some point. Uh, we've got The Holiday, not the film, the TV show. I do like this show. Um, the reason I watched it, because it's got one of the cuckoo actors in it. Um, um, I watched it to the parts of the episodes and I actually like it. It's really good. Um, I do have the movie on DVD because there's the film called The Holiday, which stars Cameron Diaz in it. Um, but I'm talking about the show, not the movie, so yeah. Okay. So we've got the cuckoo! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow! I love this show. Um, I watched this, I think it was April or something I watched it. Um, this is about, um, so it says, A lodger drives a wedge through the heart of the family in a gripping four-part drama. So yeah, so you probably guess who it is. It's Sean. Who is played by Jill Harpenny. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a bit shocked that Sean died at the end of The Cuckoo. Because I pretend she's Elliot's sister. Because Elliot is from Too Good To Be True. And Sean is from The Cuckoo. So I do stories about Elliot and Sean. So, and also, um, I do like Jessica as well. But Sean is my most favourite. So yeah. So yeah, The Cuckoo is the best. And we've got The Teacher. I really love the series, actually, because it's got one of the two good-to-be-true actors in it. And, yeah, over there. And um, I did start watching season one, which has Sheridan Smith in it. Um, this series was okay, but I prefer the second series because it, it's way better. Um, um, I did start watching this series, and um, I actually loved it. It was so good. And I will watch it again at some point. And I love the music in the show. Like, same with the cuckoo. Because I listen to the soundtrack. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, we've got The Wives. I started watching this show. Um, um, I really love it. Um, because um, a lot of, lot of them, like her, is not really a good one. But I absolutely love it. Um, because I wanted to give it a try when I saw the trailer to it, when I watched, um, um, Dal and Helen, I really wanted to give it a try. So, yeah, it's actually a good show. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Finders Keepers. Now, the reason I watched it because it's got one of the in-betweeners acts, isn't it? And, oh my god, I absolutely love the show. And... I really loved it, and I was really... I think Ashley died at the end, and I was like, oh, man. Because Ashley is played by the same actor who plays Jay from the Inner Tweeners, so that's why I'm giving it a try. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I will watch it again very soon. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got Yorkshire Great and Small with Dal and Helen. Oh my god, this is like a sequel to Dal and Helen's Pen Eye Adventure. I really love the show and I'm going to be watching the newer episode maybe Thursday or Friday because I don't really get time to watch like episodes because I'm just busy with work sometimes. 
Um, I really enjoyed it, and some of it is like all creatures great and small, but it's kind of different. And I did used to like all creatures great and small, but I just got bored of it, so yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed this Dal and Helen program, because it's like a sequel to Dal and Helen's Pen Eye Venture, which was last year, so yeah. I absolutely loved it, and I love all the episodes, so, and I watched the episode from last Thursday, yesterday, and I really enjoyed it, so yeah. Okay, get ready. We got too good to be true. Yes, yes, just yes. This show is absolutely fantastic. I love the show. I'm a big fan of the show. Uh, the storyline is very well written, full of characters. Alan Leach is incredible as Elliot Fielding, who is definitely my favourite character. Or is it too good to be true? <laughs> yeah, so I got... I've got Too Good To Be True on YouTube and I'm going to get it on DVD very soon because I'm a big fan of the show and Rachel times Elliot is my favourite ship in the show or I should say Achel, that's what I call it. So it says, intense drama about a single mum who is Rachel whose life is turned around by an offer from a stranger which is Elliot Fielding. And bit of a shock, I really hated it when Elliot dies at the end because I didn't want him to die. Because, so Rachel set Elliot on fire, and I was like, no! And because Liam's like, mum, no! So yeah, because that was after when Elliot grabbed um, Rachel. So yeah, um, I didn't want Elliot to die. So he was like evil Spinel when he was fighting Rachel, but he was still really a cute character, what Alan Leach played. So yeah. So yeah. And I'm I'm thinking I'm going to be watching this show again, maybe before Christmas. And I might try and watch it on DVD or maybe on YouTube because I'm going to get the DVD of the show very soon. Because I really want to get the DVD. So, yeah. So, anyway, that is all my, um, all my Channel 5 drama and shows I love from this year. So, yeah... So yeah, very good shows, but definitely Too Good To Be True and The Cuckoo and my most favourite shows from this year. So I hope you guys like this and I'll see you in the next one.